what strategy should we focus for preparing and answering a paper in CS and life science. Here we go with part C first. 100 marks are there in part C and your target is to get 100 out of 100. Believe me, if you score more in part C, it is going to take your load off of part B and part A because you cannot commit more on part B because those are memory based direct questions. Hit or miss. But part C questions are conceptual questions. So if you build your concept and if you can uh, continue to think in the direction of the question, you might get a proper answer in part C. Thinking can give you right answer to part C but cannot give you right answer to part B. That's why part C should be your strongest friend and here you should attempt 20 to 25 correct questions with over 90% accuracy which will give you near about 85 to above 90 marks and you should be targeting above 90 marks. Believe me, if you want to score more than 125, you need to score more than 90 in part C. Next is part B where 70 marks total question 70 marks are there you need to answer 18 to 22 questions right and approximate score of uh, like uh, from here uh, in part b from 18 to 22 if you score even 50 15 questions correct you will get 30 marks from that some will be uh, negative marking considering that even 25 to 28 marks will be good enough right along with part c and part b you are good enough to reach that 120 marks very close. Now part A, 30 marks, among them 8 to 10 questions are very easy. If you check CSNET part A, particularly for CSNET life sciences, the questions are very, very easy. In fact, you don't need to rely on mathematical questions. If you fear math as a biology student, it's fine. Do not go into the math questions. Just go into the reasoning, aptitude based questions, IQ solve questions and those IQ questions can be, can be solved with your basic IQ and skill and you can easily answer 8 to 10 questions correctly.